You're listening to Mike James Rock Show with Dan and Mike. Welcome to this week's show. This week's show, merch stop now. We have t-shirts, we're on brand. Watch the microphone head disappear. <laughs> but you can still hear us. Yes, so we're back together. <laughs> it's the reunion you really wanted. <laughs> <laughs> the one that you never never asked for. No eight really hours wanted. waiting in a queue to get to us. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm back from Reading. He was always back from Reading because he never went. But I'm not. Uh, but I am now out of the studio. Yeah, no. This is this is wild. We came absolute leagues to get where we are now. It's not just down the road from where we live. It's, a, it's at least 27 minutes and 32 seconds. <laughs> it is exactly that. Um, so we've actually had a bit of an interesting day here. It's been, we've, been, we've approached Burn It Down more as fans, haven't we? Mm. So there's been a lot of band watching, a lot of just mingling around and seeing who's here. Um, and there's a lot of bands that we've already interviewed. So um, I said hey to South Arcade um, and uh, they're like, you're not interviewing us again, are you? It's like, no because I would literally be asking how your week's been. I said hello to Alt Black Era. I literally got into the venue and saw the last, probably again, 16 bars of the last song. <laughs> we're but so I good caught, at that. I, I caught up with them literally as they got off stage and they were like, Mike, I'm like, hello. <laughs> and then uh, we also uh, touch base with uh, Black Gold. Still don't know who they are, but they wear their masks all the time. Mysterious. There's, Very there's mysterious. A, there's a strong lineup today. Like, Very Kate strong. Bookie is just about to take the stage behind us, behind this wall is the stage behind it we are um, literally backstage and yes. then uh, 1056 we're on in Lake Malice and the one and only Creeper are headlining today so shout out to the organisers of Burn It Down you are progressing this festival really really well in fact we're, uh, we've gone from being the only press agents here a few years ago to just being in a proper press area with lots of people this is awesome the room is full of people on their phones and laptops <laughs> lots of togs looking stressed um, including a couple of our friends. Socially so, unsociable. Yes. Mm. That's what we are. Um, it's a collection, the media room is usually a collection of um, introverts that wanted to be pop stars or guitarists, but just so introverted they couldn't. Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Like hide in the press pit uh, or photo pit. Mm. Uh, you turn your back to the stage, uh, sorry, to the crowd rather than. Um, well, we started off as a radio show so no one could see our faces, and now we have YouTube. And no one can see our faces. <laughs> I'll just do uh, what Lucas did at um, download. This is fine. This oh, yeah, fine. and people are actually there. And people are playing, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, we, so, can, we can go and see them. Well, I bumped into Luke earlier. Yeah, no point interviewing him because it's been three weeks. And well, whilst... Luke has a, a habit of ignoring every time you say hello to him, and he literally passed you on the stairs again. And uh, oh, no, I said hello. It, he smiled. He was busy. But you it, said hello. And he... It got worse. Whilst you were doing uh, the interview we're going to talk about in a minute, I was outside, uh -huh. um, and he walked past me twice. <laughs> I, just, I think blue makes me invisible. Like, if I'm holding a microphone or if I'm wearing blue, I'm just invisible to people. Bless. Um, but... We have managed to tick off quite an epic rock show bucket list <laughs> interview today. So we had this interview lined up at so many places and festivals over the last year or so. Two pre, years. pre, yeah, pre their new album Sangavore coming out. Um, mm. So we managed to actually sit down with Creeper, who are headlining the festival this week. Yes. Um, shout out to uh, Hannah for sorting that one out for us. Yeah. <laughs> um, really lovely guy. Yeah. No, we're going to run some highlights after we're done chatting, but yeah, no, just genuine lovely people um, and very contrite about uh, not being able to actually do the interview because they remembered mm. they're, they're like we're really sorry every time that we've pulled it there's been a genuine reason yeah I mean we've been doing this 15 Rain stop years play like muddy fields yeah. <laughs> just traffic delays everything and illnesses. of course we've had this with other people I mean how long did it take me to get actually into an interview with Jesse Leach or Danny Warsnop true so very, Danny very Filth <laughs> Danny Filth as well <laughs> I mean bless him he did apologise profusely for leaving us in sub-zero temperature temperatures outside of Bristol venue we were all by, by the time we left that that interview that never happened we were almost the same color as his skin <laughs> as his <laughs> like uh, makeup, makeup on yeah. stage it's a good thing that we neither of us have a twiddly mustache because we could have broken it off um and just oh, yeah I well, know it's coming it's coming 
Is he going to go full steampunk moustache? That is the question. Stay tuned to find out. Like, <laughs> subscribe, watch, hit the notification bell, and more importantly, leave a comment. Should I keep the tash or should it go? I mean, th this is the big question. I I'm loving it because of your bloodstock look with it. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the full, like, sort of... Uh, my name is cowboy. my name is Earl, but kind of post Malone, metalhead, hip hop, hip hop, country rock. So basically, you're the Redneck. English version of uh, Jelly Roll. Boom! You heard it here. <laughs> so um, we actually at this point we're not sure if we're going to get any more. We just thought we'd jump on camera and actually talk to you guys because we uh, our reading last week didn't do much talking um, on the highlight reel there. Well, what we'll probably do is cut to some action of bands. I think. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, and if we get any more, then they'll be in these credits. Otherwise, we're just going to launch the full interview with Creeper the week that this drops as well. See you back in the studio. What, for my birthday show? Your birthday show. I've bought his present. Oh, 